Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's home screen is called Slide, and I think you can see why. Here's a tutorial right now. Bam! Both stylish and minimal. This home screen features quite a nifty little feature here as seen in the new YouTube, Google Plus and many other Google applications. As you can see, it's got a little slide thing and as you can see, you can bring it up all the way there. That's the Android 4.2 clock and I'm gonna be giving it to you in this tutorial. So do you like what you see? Well, let us begin today's tutorial. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I'm gonna be asking a very important question later in this tutorial. So you might wanna check it out. Let's just begin. Okay, starting from the very beginning, as always, we're going to set up our Apex Launcher, which always works the best for this. We'll push our menu, Apex Settings, Home Screen Settings, and they're all pretty much the same, except I set my Portrait Grid to 10 by 7 which I think works pretty well. Manage Screens, you want two screens, and all of these you can just deselect, except Show Wallpaper, as well as Hide Notification Bar. Dock Settings, you want to hide the dock. And that's about it. Great. Once your Apex is set up, you want to move on to your next widget, which is your multi-live wallpaper. So you can go hold down menu again and go wallpaper. And you want your live wallpaper, which is seen here. You want to download multi-picture live wallpaper, which is getting used quite often now. Go settings. And as always, you want to go add individual settings. You want to add one and then add two individual settings. For your setting one settings, we'll go to picture source, single picture, and you want to see where you saved it. The one that comes with the PSD is suited for an Nexus 4, but as always, you can resize them. So now for your, your first wallpaper, you want it to be this one with your icons. And for, you want to go crop resize, fit to full screen, just in case it doesn't work. Screen two settings, you'll do the same, except now you'll choose the nice, pretty grassy one. Oh yeah, and one more thing you want to add in use lock screen settings, you want to enable that. Go into lock screen settings, picture source, and you just want to use the second grass wallpaper that's just plain grass as you are because then when you lock it let's see if we lock it we all have our pretty little grass and stop lock screen like this finally your transition type i like it as card it looks it works out quite well or you can use slide or none doesn't really matter finally you want to take off reflections great so you just go back you go set wallpaper and as you'll see you'll have this side and this side and as you can see if you slide it nice look at that Oh, it's so Google. Great. Once that's set up, we're going to move on to animating these icons so that when you tap it, it brings up your email just by tapping like that or your messages, anything you want. And as always, there are two ways of doing this. First, you can just go into your, you can either go into your app drawer or you can just hold down and go shortcuts, apps, choosing whatever app you want, say browser, you drag it to this position. You can either add three in a row, which might take some time, and you'll just change it to a blank PNG. Blank PNG, boom, okay, disappeared, opens up your browser. Second way, more legit way is adding a widget. Desktop Visualizer, a three by one, and as you can see, it fits into all of them quite well. So there for camera, you just tap the Desktop Visualizer. You'll go select icon, select the bank PNG. Launcher, you'll select, say for camera. You wanna take off your label, take off touch effect, go OK and it'll disappear and it'll, it works a bit better. It's quicker than adding three in a row as you can just tap anywhere over here and it'll open it up straight away. But the negative is that you're going to have eight widgets on, well, plus nine plus a clock all at one time. So see which is better for you. OK, next we'll be moving on to our Android 4.2 clock app you see at the top. And that app is Minimalist Text. I know, right? Pretty cool what you can do with it. So to add it, you just have to download and install Minimalist Text. You'll hold down, go Add Widgets, and you'll select a other, yeah, a 2x2 two two widget. You'll tap, it'll bring you up here. You want to take off Show Background. You want to leave everything else the way it is, but you'll go Predefined Layout, Custom Layout, and here it is. It's just a clock, static text, minutes, as well as day of the week, static texts, month, and day. All I did was change it to the Roboto fonts. So you can either create this for yourself, but just for today, I'm gonna to be sharing the minimalist text preference where you just have to copy it to your phone into this folder. If you're using any file explorer, you look for the one called minimalist text preferences. You'll see all of these. You'll just paste it here. And I've called it Android Clock 4.2. Boom. So even if you have such an old phone like a Galaxy S2, there's still hope for you. 
finally to end it off this is just a blank screen that you can add any widget you can add have a ha you can either have a large twitter widget i just used any do here just so i can see all my notes great and there we have our tutorial for today i hope you've enjoyed it folks please remember to subscribe to our channel as well as our new playlists are starting so you might want to go and check those out finally i want to ask a question do you want me to have a stock launcher and go all the way to this changing my wallpaper my dock everything until it finally looks like this pro it could be easier to see what it looks like con it can take quite a lot longer if you pretty much have the basics or do you want me to already have it looking like this and just showing you what i've added and how to add it pro it's a lot quicker con you might prefer seeing it getting built from scratch so yeah i'm going to post those questions up at the bottom comment below and you just like whichever one you prefer please don't dislike the question otherwise it might get confusing so yeah thank you very much guys and see you around next time